hello and welcome back guys so we are still talking about mean okay so um, so as we have discussed earlier that uh, there will be three different kind of series right it will be individual and then after that discrete and then you will have a continuous series right and then after that within that continuous as well there are different method of doing it okay so different method of solving is a number will be your normal normal method right direct method you could say and then your second method will be shortcut method or deviation method okay deviation method this will be your shortcut method okay and then your third will be step deviation method so in direct method what you will basically do is that basically will be given 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 50 right so frequency will be given right and then after that 5 15 25 35 right so you have your middle values right i'll suppose this is x okay and then your frequency is 2 3 4 5 okay and then in direct method what you basically do is that your formula is x bar is equals to summation fx divided by n which is basically fx you multiply this you'll get your fx right n will be over here you just put in this values down here this one over here as well and then you'll basically get your answer right so in case of deviation method what you basically do is that deviation method so you will assume one one value to be the mean okay so 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 50 5 15 25 35 right frequency 2 3 4 5 right so once everything is there so what you basically do is you create another column so basically this will be d which will be x minus a okay so in this case what you will basically do is assume one value to be the a okay so you can assume 25 to be the a okay so suppose a is 25 minus x right so x is 5 minus 25 will be minus 20 minus 10 0 10 okay so this is how your values will be after that what you basically do is that you will multiply fd okay this into this okay minus 40 minus 30 0 50 right and then you will get your summation fd so which will basically be 70 minus minus 20 right so n is equals to 5 10 14 okay so your x bar is equals to your formula will be slightly different okay a plus fd divided by n okay and your assume mean in the what is a a is your assume mean so you'll write 25 over here plus what you will do minus 20 divided by 14 okay whatever your number will be that will be your answer okay in case of a deviation method okay so whenever uh, this is for deviation method okay so it's uh, when you are given a large number of data set so this will be important as well but what I would basically suggest is use this method why it is suggested I'll show you okay it'll be quite easy so sometimes see like you've been given 15 right so sometimes you might be given like a huge number of data or the frequency is quite high then it'll be very hard to multiply right so the chances of making errors are very high okay so when you are using step deviation method what we basically have to do is that it's pretty much same as this but you will just divide this d by the number of class okay and i'll show you why we are doing that okay so how is that simplified as well i'll show you that as well so that you have a better understanding of it okay so 30 to 40 right so 5 15 25 35 what was the frequency 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 right so this is your frequency this is your middle value right and then after that you basically compute your d right so what would your d be d is basically 
x minus a right so your a is 25 then uh, 5 minus 25 will be minus 20 right and then this will be minus 10 0 10 right so I'll just write one more thing as well okay 40 to 50 so this will be mm, 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 45 so this will be 20 right so now your d will be 0 okay so in this case you will need to compute your d dash as well okay you will need to compute your d dash so what is d dash is basically d divided by your class interval okay which is basically 10 right okay so basically you will divide this number by your 10 or class interval okay so how much will you get minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 right so you will also have to multiply it fd dash so now see the number is pretty same after dividing this right so 20 into 40 was pretty easy so suppose if this was 2000 into 2 then you will have like 4000 right so that will be huge number right whereas if you are using step deviation method the number will be pretty smaller okay so after this what you basically do is you will compute your fd dash total and then your frequency will be out here right and then your x bar will be a plus summation fd dash by n into h as well okay so see over here why we are doing it is basically if you see d and d dash okay so basically what we have done is dividing this number by 10 right and then after that what we have basically done over here is i'll, I'll show you this as well it'll be pretty easy uh 40 right and then minus 10 right zero right and then uh no 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 why am i doing that i have to multiply it by that okay so that is 40 uh, this is your minus 30 this is your minus 40 okay no 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 this is your minus 4 minus 4 this into this right so minus 3 and then 0 and then after that 5 and then 6 right so this is 12 so 12 plus 5 is 17 right 17 and then 3 and then 4 right so your fd will be 10 right so your assume mean is 25 plus 10 divide by how much will this figure be so 10 15 20 right 20 into 10 right so 1 by 2 5 so your this thing is 30 right so whereas if you are using if you are doing the other method what you would normally used to do was you used to use the other formula x bar is equals to a plus summation ft divided by n only right so what you would basically get is that uh, so your assume mean was 25 plus okay we don't have the fd we need to compute it as well okay so when we compute f and d so it'll be minus 40 right and then uh, this will be minus 30 right and then 50 and then uh, 120 right so your total will be basically 100 okay it should be 100 uh, 7 right so see whereas in case of f d dash how much are you getting you are getting the same figure but there is no uh, zero at the end right so all you are doing is basically you are basically um, when you have divided d dash right so you basically simplified it okay that's why this is pretty easy okay so in the same way you will basically get your same answer okay divide by 20 when you do that 5 right 30 now see which one is easier compare yourself okay so basically when you're using the fd dash or the shortcut or the deviation method it is much more easier than the shortcut method okay always remember that so that's pretty much it guys so in the next uh, chapter we will be looking at the problems of stat okay so until next time bye bye